back here doing? You out of order. I'm out of order. You out of order. Y'all always stay out of order. Like y'all hair do tonight is out of order. Yeah. Why the f is y'all so upset? Right. Y'all $2 ass thing. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. Y'all yeah. should be a mad fake right now. Joss, I don't like that shit. At the end of the day, you supposed to come tell us like a real Why the f are y'all questioning me or handling me like, I, I haven't gave sure. y'all an opportunity. No, no, fuck it is, do not. Cause she don't want to support this f***ing cabaret, that's why. No, well, y'all think y'all harder than everybody, but you're not. Y'all f***ing the game up and y'all f***ing yourself up. And guess what, right now, y'all two got the wicked storyline. Because I'm a businesswoman and y'all don't want to see that? Well, what business you, you got to show You want to see struggling. You got to pay for tax. How you if know you're, you're, How do you know you're that? Toyota. Your great Toyota got a paper No, no, no. Did they say you got evicted from your house? Because oh, guess oh. what? Because I don't care about cars like that. Because cars ain't sh to me. That's the in the pre no. time you got. All I wanted to do is help this and they're questioning me. The thanks I get is disrespect. Let me take you back to the beginning and tell you why I had to walk these two dollar ass like a mother doll. What up, y'all? It's the Puerto Rican princess, baddest in the game. Jocelyn is cabaret is here. You already know what it is. When I used to be a stripper, I had guys like T-Pain, Janet Jackson, some of the biggest superstars at the time that always wanted me to be in their music videos. I guess I'm just a famous ass I ran all these strip clubs. I danced in every strip club that you can think of in Miami. And I ran that shit. I made all the money. Everybody used to come looking for me, the Puerto Rican princess, Jocelyn Hernandez. And guess what? It's still the same way. Now, I got some of the baddest in Miami that I took under my wing, and I'm showing them the game. How to really handle business, how to really get that money, to show them how to handle strong, to show them how to be a bad. Jocelyn and Scabaret always been so important for me because my passion for music is doing music, performing, practicing, rehearsing. I put it all together in my mind that I can have a cabaret without showing up. I'm doing my own thing. I'm taking matters into my own hand. No more Stevie J. It's all about me and my life and what I want to do. I'm a mother, I'm a fiance, and I'm a badass We get that money. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's keep it raw. I ain't really got no interest if your love is small. The pearl is around your neck, now bad boy, bring me on. When you get finished with it, you gon' need some Tylenol. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I love them all. You ain't gotta get into my business, cause I told them all. On top, now watch me rock it like a seesaw. You don't like your bitch, then sue me, I'm my brother law. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Little, little, this, little, that. Oh my God, babe, this is so beautiful. I you like love it. Like it, babe? It is, it's beautiful out here for I cannot believe. It's amazing out here. We are here. How do you feel? <laughs> I feel amazing, I feel good. Oh my gosh, you've been running away from me for so long. Like, <laughs> Not that long. You, look nah. at you, right back here right now. Yeah, right back, back where here I'm right supposed now. to be. My fiance ballistic is amazing. Nothing more, nothing less. How you Man, feel? I'm so excited. I mean, I feel great just because coming from uh, a situation like, you know what I mean, Love and Hip Hop, it was just really not a good place for me to be at. Yeah. You know, it was so toxic. And I was just around so many toxic people. Yeah. I feel like I needed to get away. When I quit Love and Hip Hop, I was really frustrated. I, 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 I didn't want to be bothered with anyone in Love and Hip Hop. I did not want to be bothered with anyone in VH1. I didn't want to be bothered with Mona. I didn't want to be bothered with the franchise. You know, their ratings ain't shit now. No, I was just going to say that. That <laughs> drop. So if they lost ratings, it went up to me to keep them. I did what I had to do for the years that I was there, and I got the f I knew that Mona and I knew that VH1 could have made me uh, executive producer. 
Yeah. You know, I know they could have made me a second producer. I second everything that they f had. Yeah, yeah. You know, definitely I second producer. You were definitely the one that stood out more. And than they always wanted everybody. to film. They always wanted to film some both. I was like, nah, let's not film that. Let's go film this. It was really time for me to exit. Leave Love and Hip Hop, leave Mona, leave VH1, leave my baby daddy, and, and come do my own thing to Miami. As soon as I ran away from that place, I met you, really. Yeah. I don't know how you deal with my crazy ass and everything and everything I have going on with co-parenting with this fool. It's whatever, ain't nobody gonna stop the show now. I'm, I'm not, just... not, not Mona, not Stevie, you know what I'm saying? He just better stay, stay in line with um, making sure to help us co-parent and raise the little one. And as simple as that. I feel like if you wasn't around, Stevie would still definitely be trying to control me. Yeah. Even though he's married. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When you have somebody like like me, the king, come in, you know what I mean? He has no choice. Now, I have control of me, and he has control of faith. Let's keep it good with for the little one. That's all it's about, so the little one. All the other stuff is extra, and that's when I start that's when I'm gonna start speaking up. When I was with Stevie, he made it so difficult with me to be successful with my music. And I just want to really have you and I focus on the music. I want you to be the greatest that you are, and I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that you get that. Realistic, he's a music producer. If you watch a TV show and there got some music on it, you better believe Ballistic did the soundtrack on it. I wanted to talk a little bit just about like what, what your like vision for the future too. I really still want to focus on the cabaret. You know, the cabaret for me is really important because I can really get to help out some of my bitches. Jocelyn's cabaret is to showcase your talent, your movements, your beauty, your sexiness, your flyness, your bossiness, and just put it into what we love to do, which is dancing, singing, and performing. It's a cabaret. It's a show. You don't know what this go girls go through, babe. These girls get beat up. Mm. They got kids. They got they got mamas that's crackheads. They got daddies that's crackheads. They got cousins that be robbing them and all type of weird shit they be going through. Like, like one of my homegirls, Daisy, her baby daddy's a pimp. No. She just had a baby and he pimps. Once you say you motherfuckers got pimps and all that, I already know what time it is. It's a little bit intimidating for me if I'm trying to put a cabaret together because if I get the wrong I might get the wrong pimp. And but he might try to come after me. I feel like it's time for me to go back to this strip club and kind of give back something, like get my together and kind of maybe incorporate them with the cabaret. I mean, this got talent. It ain't like they just good to suck and sell ass. You know? You're a good woman. You're a good woman. You know, you you to even just the fact you want to help. You know, you always you always want to help people and stuff, and that's that's amazing. That's that is. You know, you these girls are it. super young, and I feel like they need some type of guidance. How you gonna deal with all these bras, babe? Because they got a lot of shit with them. If you're dealing with a lot of egos and all that, shit, I already know. I see that. Shit. So that's why I'm just you know just not concerned, but I just want to you know know how you how you gonna deal with this. Shit. If I got an opportunity for them, I feel like they all gonna be all right. And if they not, they just gonna have to get their ass whooped. Cause I ain't gonna let none of them try me now. You gonna get this money, or you gonna go back and keep walking the track and keep sucking for twenty five dollars? Mm. Cause they know who the motherfucking boss is. They know who the don is. They know who the don daughter is. They know who's the madam. If anybody could be a pimp, I think that should be me. I used to dance at G Files back ten years ago. You used to go there. Why like, you didn't let me shake my fat ass on you? You was too busy getting your honest looked at. <laughs> It was over there looking at your cheeks. <laughs> yeah, spread them cheeks. Let me see them cheeks. Why didn't you come stick your tongue in there? Too many people. <laughs> Too much tongues in no, there. But, but. If it's not just my tongue, I'm cool. <laughs> now, everybody knows I'm a woman of God. You can see me sitting up here looking all sexy, but I'm a woman of God. You know, I think I need to go, go ahead and call Daisy just to see, because you know she be working the club. I don't know if she worked the That's club. That's a light-skinned girl, Daisy? With the one with the big goatee. She got the one. Right. Yeah, because oh, she's yeah. Really, she's yeah, giving she's, she's got milk. Cute. Babe, what's the captain? Let's get champagne. Captain, we need some champagne, Brody. Captain Danny at your service. Captain Danny! Thank you, sir. Thank you! Opa! Opa! What up? Cheers to you, girl. Hey. Ah. I'm chilling. I'm out here at the beach with our ballistic. I want to hang out with you. I need to come talk to you today. I bought some good ideas that I came out with that I think is gonna be good for you and me. So I wanna kick it. I'm ready. It's really important for Daisy to know her position 
next to me and next to the cabaret. So I gotta go sit down and talk to her because I need her to really understand what she's about to do. So send me the address. I'm gonna come through, okay? All right, I'm about to send it out. All right, babe, I'll see you soon. All right, all right. bye. Babe, what's up? Let's talk. What? She ready to meet tonight, then? She ready to meet tonight. We're about, about to put this to work. Toast to Justin's Cabaret, baby. E Let's go, 100 million. Get it. Let's go. Let's get that oh. money, baby. Let's oh, 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 oh. I'm so excited, baby. We're gonna have so much fun tonight. Go time, baby. I really pray to God that they do not make Johnson and Scabaret a difficult thing for me to put together. Because if they do, I'm gonna be pulling some wigs off. My name is Daisy. I'm from Miami, Florida, 305. Nice place. It's so cute. Thank you. My house, my new house. Daisy's going to be able to help me and the girls come together to make Jocelyn's Cabaret happen. How you feel about just having this baby? And at 23, I could not be a mother. And you're doing a really good job. You have your own place. But let me ask you this. How is everything going with your baby daddy? He does his part. You know, I need him to handle what he handles. Did Flower ask you to go back to the club though? Flower is the father of my son. He has like three, four girls. And they all work the club. Flower gets them places to live, homes, cars. Imagine you have girls making 1500 a night. Put that all in one pot, it's easier than me just doing it by myself. So they can each reach their goal faster when there's more people being involved and helping each other out. So let me ask you, when you was working, would you give him all the money? Mm-hmm. Every night? This siren, borderline with I mean, He's not a lot of girls. Well, you're so pretty though, like what the f It's so important to do a cabaret rather than just being a f stripper shaking your f opening up your legs. I used to, I, look, I used to get on the same stage. Would you be just another or you just the main or you the bottom <laughs> What, what, what? I'm definitely the bottom That bottom love that pimp so bad, she ain't gonna never leave. She doesn't see that the way you change your life is by changing who you are. It's sick. I want to talk to you about this idea that I have mm -hmm. with the cabaret. I've been making music for 10 years now, and I always wanted to incorporate it cabaret style. Mm -hmm. I always sexy. wanted sexy dancing, the music and performance. And so I thought it was a great idea. I love that. I got to give back to my I got to give back to my And then I'm like, why not go with some of the girls and they could potentially be in the cabaret, you know? Cause I know some of you girls got other things that you want to do with your life. Definitely. Other than just being in the strip club. People don't understand. There's things that you girls really want to do. I, I, I want to try to put something together with you and some of the girls from the club. I want to go to the club and really just see which one of our friends is in there and just f with them. And this is definitely my bottom b when it comes down to the cabaret. Have you I know you body up yet. So I thought about a couple of other girls. You know your homegirl Chastity. Yes, Chastity. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You introduced me mm -hmm. to the mm -hmm. though. You introduced me to Chastity. I thought she was cool. She's I think cool. that she's got the look. I think she's got the energy. Have you seen her lately? Um, I haven't talked to her, but she's easy to get a hold of, you know? She's trying to get back into the club, so she'll she, be down. She hasn't been dancing? She's been off and on. You know, she has her little boyfriend sugar daddy situation. The scammer boy? Yeah. You know, he wants her to play a little housewife, so. Really? But she's always down to get some money, so. Get paid. You know, they're not, they don't do shit for free. I think Shazity is so ready to change her life. Call her up and see what's going on with her. We just need some nice girls, some good looking fly girls. What about some other bras? Some that don't necessarily got to work the club. They don't got to all work the club. It could be, you know, it could be walking girls. It could really be very scary to try to put something together like the cabaret with these girls because some of these girls walk the track. When you say walking the track, a girl literally picks a spot where she knows it's hot. It's going to be men 
there that's going to want to pay them for sexual exchange. You need to handle business accordingly. We gotta work that out. Girl, you'll be fine. I mean, you gotta get it out. You, you know, bitch. you know these be sneaky, so we just gotta be careful. Oh, we gotta give everybody a chance. Mm-hmm. Cause if you're beautiful and you can make it happen, then we can make it look amazing and sexy and beautiful. So how is Flower gonna feel about you trying to elevate and do something different? Trust me, if it's money involved, he's he's with the. As long as you carry yourself like with your head up and classy, like it doesn't matter if you're a 304 and the 305, like no, do what you gotta do. If I was flower, I would be doing the same thing, like get that money, cause we're paying for bills, we're paying for cars, we're paying for apartments, we gotta pay for this shit. You need to help. We all just want to get some money. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm excited, we're gonna go to the strip club tonight. You wanna go hang out? Hell yeah, you know, are you I'm dance? baby free, I'm baby free. Are you dancing tonight? You should dance tonight. Christ, you should dance tonight, I'm you should dance tonight. Money. I'm gonna come in there, I'm gonna spend some money. Okay. If you see Chastity or call her, see if she call wanna go. You try to make her come to the club. We, we gonna work it out, you know? I'm the bottom bitch, I make shit happen. We gotta make this shit happen. But anyways, listen, let me go because I gotta go have a meeting at the club mm -hmm. and I need to see you tonight. I'm serious about I'm this camera. Okay? Walk you out. Be the good bottom that I you claim you is. I'm the bottom so not at the bottom, but I'm here to lift people up. For her to tell me that she was ready to get back out there and do the cabaret, I was like, yes. I remember when man and lame tell you to change your look. Get you on my back. Safari Metro section, sexy ass can't be on top. Ho, so easily brainwashed. You never been who you say you are. In fact, the dusty bitch come around. Little nothing but suit a lying on blood bitches. Okay. Hey, welcome back. Thank you. In the stripping industry, this correct taught me how to be a lady. This is I what started for you. The house you built. So for me to be able to go down and sit down and talk to this correct in the place that I used to be a stripper at, it's amazing. It's been 10 years. Can I just say that changed so much since I worked here? A lot of things changed, <laughs> even the girls. It's almost like they need like a lot of training. They what happened have, to they, you? You used to train us. Yeah, but <laughs> they start taking you to court. It's so bad that it's messing up a lot of girls' money. When I was a stripper here, it was a routine. When you keep that same routine, you keep that same money coming the f around. Do any of the girls know that the Puerto Rican princess name came from you? They don't know. They weren't born. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No, 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 I'm not saying that. They wasn't around, man. They were just little C's. I'm only 33. What the no, fuck? No, you're young. You still look the same way you were when you started. When I used to dance here, I had a really good time. I mean, and I think that I was in an era where I made so much money. Yeah. It's not like now. Like, even I see girls that are younger than me, and they look a lot older. And I just say to myself, like, what are they doing with their self? They lazy, they don't work out, they don't do nothing. They figure, they figure that when they get big, they're going to get sucked. Bitch going to get sucked out. Back then, you girls worked out. We worked out. We worked out. We now, used to take it seriously. Yeah, they're not taking it seriously. But you know, we was making five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 in a given night. Yeah. So you had no choice but to take it seriously because it was your real career. And a lot of the girls that used to work here with me, they all went, they, they all became somebody, if you yeah. really think about it. I mean, we made a lot more money than it, they, these are making now. I mean, come on. <laughs> but no, seriously. I used to get on stage and you guys was just like, here comes the Puerto Rican princess. And I was like, I just kept that name. You would walk out on stage and be like, and turn around. They just throw the money. <laughs> Money flying everywhere. She don't do nothing. She don't even go on the pole. And money just thrown everywhere. I never had to open up my wide because I was a bad Ladies and gentlemen, here comes Shanilica. <laughs> <laughs> She'll walk on stage. Oh my God. <laughs> Why did I use that ghetto ass name? It right. was different they from everybody else. <laughs> everybody everybody, everybody would turn. <laughs> now, now, <laughs> that you can't call Shanelica. Here comes Shanelica. <laughs> when Rick said Shanelica, I just thought it was hilarious because I'm looking at him like, damn, if you only knew that the reason why I have that name is because I bought a fake ID and I bought a fake ID from a pimp. I want to figure out a way where we can go back and do it the same way that we used to do it, putting on a cabaret show. Right. right. Allure men into a fantasy. Utilizing sexy music, 
sexy dances, and using the beautiful ladies. It could bring another type of different clientele that want to see something cabaret style with the sexy that we already know and with. So what would you like to do? You would like to do your show here at G5? I would like to do the cabaret here at G5 and to try to like mm -hmm. raise these girls and put these girls together and get them out of the streets, make them be a classic lady like I've become. But it could be lots of money involved in it. Before the men get in through that door, we should be able to make thirty, fifty thousand dollars out of that dough. I just want to let you know, you're gonna have a lot of girls for attitude. These girls are different from the back in the days. These girls right here will give you the f you. I'm not doing that. Uh, DJ will call them to the stage. They were like, they won't even go to the stage. You don't think I, you don't think I know how to handle these little two dollar ass tricks? <laughs> they want to be like you. Listen, if I could save one girl, I'm good with that. I saved one. It's giving back to the community. I saved a whole bunch of them. <laughs> See, so just help me save another one. And let's make this cabaret be amazing. I don't want you to get in the middle of all the bullshit that comes with them, because they can tear this shit up. And I don't need you tearing the club up. Okay? I, I'm going to try. You can do that. You can do that. We good. You can do whatever you want. I have to be mature enough to be able to handle the curse out, to be able to handle their attitude. As long as they don't Thank you, Rick. come in here You're with so push, like I have been saying. I'm going to show you that they can and they will change. So let me talk to some of them. Let me see what they say. All right. And I'm going to go meet with a couple of them right now. Can I? I gave you a warning. You never know what they're going <laughs> to get, though. I gave you a warning. I think it's going to be fine. All right. Saying all that. Welcome to G5, Oracle at Jolly's Cabaret. Thank you, Rick, you're so sweet. You're the best. Mm, I love you, man. I got somebody that's gonna support me. I got somebody that's gonna be there for me. I know if this get out of line, I could be like, Rick, come fire this I'm gonna go talk to the girls now. What are you about to do? Uh, go get a drink. You gonna go get a drink? And watch you it all up. Oh my God, y'all. Okay. I beat them hoes ass. Lucky on stage, I'm like, yeah, I need to holler at them because I know they're gonna be good for the cabaret. Thank you, you know what I'm saying? They skinny, they small, they young, they fly, they look fast, they look like they want something out of life. Yeah, y'all want to come now? We need to talk. I have you buying drinks for me. Yeah, you buy your drinks. I oh, buy you a drink, drink. Drinks. Yeah, she got money. So me and Lucky are at work, and Jocelyn pops up with some money. I'm like, oh, okay. Hello, beautiful. Hello, mommy. Y'all look amazing tonight. Thank Girl, you. working for usual. But y'all doing shaking shit, which y'all be not on. Now y'all doing nothing out there. No, we was just cleaning the pole. That's some light. Like tricks is out here. If you go to G5, you're going to find the guy that got 100000 in his pocket. And it's up to you to dig in that pocket and get that money. I got something to talk to you girls about. Okay. I have a really good idea that I really think you two can be a part of. It's something different. I think that I can really put something together to be able to bring some real money to the club with you girls. What is that? It's a camera break. Well, every time you come with them ideas, it's something that I've always wanted to get into a more cabaret style. So I'm, I was really looking forward to learning. I got Daisy coming through and Chastity, and a couple of the girls. Oh, hell no. Um, I don't f with them f at all. But why don't you deal with her? Just her mouth. I don't like f that talk too much. What did she say to you? What was she saying? Miss 304, yes. She Miss 304. 304 is a Pretty much trying to discredit the hustle. Well, she we all name. in the same industry, like You might go, you might go. Give your sugar daddy some sugar. But I got the best sugar. So what y'all think y'all gonna have beef with this Like, listen, I, I, I. I'm not gonna say that we gonna have a beef, but it's definitely that tension in a room. When we all together, you feel it. You see it. It's always that little slick shit. It's the slick. We don't do the slick. I know Daisy and Chad said it could be two stuck up ass And I know Jay and Lucky could be really nice girls. 
So I just have to see how I can bring all this together to do the perfect Jocelyn Scabaret. So y'all ain't f***ing with him at all? Look, if they don't come for me and my bitch, I'm good. That's it. They just, they worry about they self. They don't do them looks. We be no over here, like y'all be over there. We get this money and right here, and we can do it like that. I thought that I was going to be able to come here and, you know, make a different set, an uh, easy sale to you girls. But you girls are like, damn, you know, turning it down. No, I that's it. But one thing's for sure, I'm about my money. I don't, I don't beef with bitches. It's not something I do on a regular basis. I go to work, I get my money, I go home, and I go to sleep. So you don't have to worry about that. It ain't, it ain't gonna be no friction. No friction. Uh, uh, please, because y'all should be sucking each other, not fighting. I don't fighting. give a about them. I ain't sucking them. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Off and Hell no. I can't deal with that type of shit like that. I don't. I'm very hygienic. Well, you know, listen, give her an opportunity to give you a good smell. I'm give down. Opportunity. Give it a good smell. Yeah, give, I'm down. Give, give him an opportunity to give it a good I'm smell. I'm down. I'll turn down a check. What this got to understand, when it comes to Jocelyn and Scabaret, we all got to come together. Chastity, Dace, Lucky, and Jay. Listen, I'm going to go change. I know you girls want to go change, put on something sexy. We got to meet the other girls. I want to have a meeting with all of you girls. So please, just let's just be positive about this situation. And let's we'll toast to the cabaret. Let's go get some drinks I in the back. Say, we're just drink. Yeah, let's go get some drinks. Let's go get some drinks. Right, I got to go. I got to slide home and change, but but we can stop and, and, and you know. Did you buy No, I'm not the one. It's Two or three. It's going to be all right. I got going to be good. I got you. I got you. I'm excited and I'm happy that I can get to meet with other girls. I'm gonna go in the back and let them know what's going on and see what they say because I really want them all to be a part of this cabaret. What up? Hey, what's up? Hey, girl. What's going on with y'all? Thank you. I see you got, I see you got titties out. And oh, you know, they have your expensive, my dear. What's up? Hey. Getting that money tonight. Yeah. Getting that money tonight. Who's working? Who's trying to catch a vibe? I work every night. I get the money. I really want to talk to you girls about something. Go stand over here so I can talk to all of you girls. I know you girls be getting y'all's money. And I know you girls want to do other things which I like. I really want to see how you girls feel about doing this cabaret. What the f is a cabaret? We don't have cabarets in Miami. We have strip clubs. That's what we have. The cabaret basically is all about music. It's surrounded around music and dances. So who better, who better than you girls to um, join me in doing this cabaret? So I just figured like, why not, why not try it? And I know it could be a little alarming when you have to step into another situation, but it's time for you girls to do something different. And I feel like incorporating the cabaret with you sexy ladies and some amazing music will be great. So what? tell me, what do you feel about it? You know, I'm down, I'm all for it, but what do we have to do? What is a cabaret? I just need, to, you know, more explanation on that. How much are we getting paid? Because right now we're making, you know, a lot of bands tonight and like, what's the cabaret? Like, I thought you wasn't tell. in there stripping. You was, you haven't been here dancing for how long? Boyfriend. I, and I also know your boyfriend is cabin. Mm, no. I, she don't even know the fucking nigga, like, no, but he is not a scammer. He's a businessman. This is what I do here in the streets. The it's streets. a lot of, the, the streets do talk. Daisy was the one that told me that she asked his boyfriend was a scam. You ain't here for me. I want to be able to help you girls be able to do different things. You know, I spoke to you about your situation earlier with your baby daddy, and you were telling me a little bit about him. So I just feel like you girls are way too beautiful to have to even deal with some, some of the of stuff us, that you deal with. Some of us actually really do want to be done with this shit. We OGs in the game, and that shit like an endless cycle. Some you know of us saying? love the money, love the hype, you know? Love the rush, the feeling. I like what I do. I please people for a living. I feel like being in the cabaret, you can love it. Being able to do your, show your same talents, doing the same shit, but with your clothes on. I Being feel like, sexy. I, feel like I, I honestly think Jocelyn Cabaret might be a hit. So, so what's, the, what's the difference yeah. from that, from what we're doing right now? 
you know, preparing to the cabaret, what's the difference? Well, it's not, it's easy to make money, but it's about what are you doing with your money after? We can all make money. No, you get, alluring, no, alluring right. men in a different type of way. You don't have to allure men the same way all the time. I feel like it's about branding something. I don't give a f if the, this bitches could get with the costume because I know that my mind is way ahead and way ahead than all these Since I've been down here in Florida, the game is so different like than what I'm used to. Like everybody is just more just hands on. It's more hands on. It's more, it's, it's, it's not exotic, erotic, how it's supposed to be. It's more like, let me really touch you. You're more to be talking to people. You gotta learn how to adjust to your environment. That's all it's no, about. No, I'm not gonna adjust to getting broke and, and touch you. Don't have to. Like, no, you you stomp down on these Period. Tell them, you know, that's, that's not what I do. That's not how I get down. It's not how we get down in Miami, baby. You do have men that try to be more disrespectful with certain colors than others. And I'm just saying that, like, I've been dancing a long time. This my your ass is not really disrespectful. That's no, what they expect it, 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 No, I've seen more than that here. I've seen more than smacking ass. What I've you seen? Rope with the titties, fingers, and areas that oh, don't belong. Yeah. Oh, my skin, though. are completely different. She's dark skin. Well, she's not dark. She's, she's brown. brown skin. I'm light skin, but we've worked at the same club. So I'm saying her doing extra because she's a brown skin girl, I, I don't see that because I, I, know, I know the Spanish girls the white girl is doing the f***ing most for $40. But 60 now, but they're okay no, with it. Man. It's a difference when you're okay with it when that shit bothered you, bruh. I just got 5000 in Atlanta and nobody tried to touch me dancing like this. Well, when I can turn the f*** up and the trying to touch me for $20. And that ass look It depends on what you used to. Well, I'm from here, so I'm, I'm used to a little bit more. I do want to smack I'm your from ass Cleveland. and they want to do the and most. And that smack your ass, that dropping bread and you looking back at that and you gonna move that hand, and you gonna grab that hand, and that know what that means. Here, ready to fight you, and I gotta be worried when I work out to my car, I gotta have my pistol, cause I done checked in the club for touching me. I done been through that shit. I done got shot at in my car for checking it for disrespecting me. Well, I'm period. I ain't been through no ghetto shit like that. Like, that's just not cool. All I want to do is talk about the cabaret, and this is just a little bit of strain for me. So listen, guys. I feel like we did a whole lot of talking, but if we ain't really tying this shit together to be the camera, right? We ain't gonna get nowhere. I hear you, girls. It's dark skin and light skin and, you know, walking and the club and dancing, and I get it, I get it. And this is why I'm trying to get to a point where we can put something together, where we can move past this conversation. Because I really want to have fun and enjoy your girls, and I really feel like you girls are beautiful enough for me to put something together where you don't even have to get naked for men to come and throw money all over the place. But you have to give me an opportunity to get you there. So, you know, you could be a little bit more ladylike. When you go out there, I want you I'm to- I'm such a time I want boy. you to- Really? I want you to- I'm such a time boy, you know, I'm sorry. Get a little bit more sexy because you can't be in the camera right, like talking like that. You're gonna run off, they ain't gonna come through the door. They're gonna be like, this is not a camera That's right. that shit where we be like, I'm from Cleveland. <laughs> Like, right. hey, no, baby, what that you is doing? not a lot. I gotta stop. What are you doing? Like that. You gotta do what Jay doing, right? Okay. But this is why we're looking to you. First of all, ladies, I wanna start off by saying I am just a lot of. I'm second in command. So if you have any questions, you need any help. Okay, so little. I'm loose. here to help. You know. Why uh -huh. you? How you gonna become the little bottom? I mean, you gotta look the part, right? And be what a little goose. Like? A little thrifty, little thrifty. Oh, not a little goose. Oh, oh, not a little hard. goose with your bell bottom, we baby. Open we open oh, you wish you could hear so This is sexy hearts. cabaret, not cheetah girls. So, so if you're a bottom no matter if, if you feel disrespected or whatever, bring a to the side, have a conversation. You have to be a leader. And I just didn't feel like she was leader material. And I'm always here to help, because don't forget, I'm the bottom And you said, I want you still didn't tell us how that happened, uh, though. You still now. ain't tell us how stop that down. happened, though. Bottom like I said, they better respect it. Love it or hate it, I'm here to stay, bottom Get your sexy outfits on and let's go they out there. They do need help. <laughs> Put out some sexy clothes on and let's go outside. Yeah, let's get some drinks. Let's, let's pop that. a bottle of champagne first and toast to the cabaret. And then we can go from there. All right. I'm going to go get the bottle. Come on. Good. Let's do it. And I got some ones for y'all, so. Popping like a rock star. It ain't like night. I can't vote. Let me get my outfit. I ain't come broke. All right. We'll see you later.
Come on! Y'all so sick of the bottom. All right, girl, girl bye. Tell us the story. Tell us the story. What you wanna know? <laughs> what you wanna know? How you was kissing that ass? <laughs> the same way you was eating this. Everybody's taking offense of Daisy being Jocelyn bottom because guess what? They want to kiss ass, they want to suck a little, you know, and they want to be the bottom. That's that's the real tea. But for real, I'm here to help. Anything you need, I got you. Well, you like. need to start working because these need help. You got to sexy it up. We want sexy and sensual, yeah, not, yeah. not tomboy and manly. I can do sexy and give sexual. me money. She said you was manly. I said not manly. That's fine. It's a lot of immature stuff going on. How old are you? How old am I? Yes. I'm 23 years old, baby. How old are you? I'm 25. Okay, so you can learn a lot from me. I can learn a lot from my little hoe. Listen, I'm a big dog. If you was a big you would be on here with us. You got chihuahua in this all right? I'm a rat rattler. It's a different. You difference. need to pick up your ones, baby. Baby, 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 baby. Yeah. baby. Look me up your I don't pick my money off the floor. I get my money off the dresser. Off the track all night, babe. I'm gonna make you a dance. 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 I'm where they do the bell bottoms? You need literally a make because you can't afford it. Baby, you don't have a clue. This the shit that make $40 a night? $4,000. You looking like somebody's auntie that smokes black and mouths at a barbecue. Hey, speak to me like a woman. You don't gotta me out. That's just me. You can't argue with no backpage ass. No, you a backpage. You, you, you. You want you want to learn your resume? You need to gotta lay on her back to make some money. That's what I'm trying to show you. Like, okay, you're the same thing I am. You got the same thing I got. You gotta pay them just like I do. No, you gotta lay something on latex. You ain't gotta shit down me, baby. You don't know shit down me. Keep getting your money off that phone. Keep picking your money off that phone. I'm gonna be your shit. 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 I'm gonna be I jumped in to help J Dreams out because. I don't like, I didn't like them bullying her. Like, you know, that's not nice. Lucky, aren't you homeless right now? Did you get kicked out your condo? Homeless. Not homeless. Actually, no, bitch, there was a fire. You need some help. You need some help, snack. My nigga can help you in the right direction. Oh, your can't help you. My can't help you. I mean, you know, if she wanna sell herself short or whatever, she can do that. What the gag is, what the real gag is, you want you didn't give your money to a that Who's that Cause you paid it, right? No, I don't pay it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah,
for literally five minutes and this started pulling each other's wigs off and slapping each other in the face. Okay, 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 okay. I was okay. not used to know, honey. Yeah. How the f y'all f gonna be cabaret? Cause how is this disrespectful and ghetto as f all that? Get to that stage. Let's make something happen. What are we gonna do about this water? We're going to space. We're going to space. You, you, I can't believe you're serious about this space talk. I'm gonna take that trip to space. When Ballista say he wants to get married in space, I think it's bullshit. No, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this cabaret with this horse. I'm gonna have to find some new because these bitches are really not trying to get their life in order. You should like take them out to dinner or something, go sit down somewhere, you know, nice and classy. I'll take them to the all little ass out. <laughs> I need to see where their mind is at. So during that whole chaotic moment, me and Jay broke our nails. The bitch had an issue with me saying like, I'm a three of What's your issue with me being a three of You're a I feel like this journey is going to be whatever we make it. And that's just real Last night was so out of hand. Like I had to pull up on my girl Chastity. You yeah. stepped in, but you ain't smack nobody. So what the I broke bitch's well. nails. The oh. was looking, oh my God, my nails. I just have some words if we do see them again like it's not done once you're coming for me like i'm sorry like my mouth is just i'm just gonna keep going listen guys i want you girls to understand that this is the reason why we're not gonna be able to move forward and do bigger things feel like maybe you need to have this kind, kind of approach about them. because the way that you came towards us you i was introducing myself okay we and that's getting cool. loud and rude and rowdy and that's cool i look how I talk. I talk like money. I look like money. Okay. Everything is money with me. You understand, understand that? And I feel it. And she I don't feel look it. like money, but she talking like money. It don't add up. I got a trick to break. She got time to be arguing with these people. I just really cannot deal with this and this $2 ass. Who look broke though? Who look broke? Who look broke? Yes, Go back to Kansas. We got to do the cabaret. I need y'all to be sexy. I need y'all girls to be fly. And I need you to be late.